Hey Squid, so I wanna go over um, today's assignment and I'm gonna do two videos. So the first part is just what we're discussing in class. So right here it says a class discussion about vocabulary and amplitude. So we're walking through this um, part of our the slideshow and the first thing I want you guys to do is um, in your notebook, you're actually going to record what you've learned. So your progress tractor, tracker, what have you figured out? So in your notebook, write progress tracker, make two columns. This column is more narrow, this one's larger. Question, how do solid objects move when they make sounds? And then what you figured out. And it says on the right side, use words and or drawings to record what you've learned. Think about the guitar strings, tuning fork, and speaker. Write in detail what you've learned. What's your evidence for how solid objects move when they make sounds? What starts the movement? Then what happens as they're moving? Use your models of the drum, the tuning fork, or guitar to explain that. Next, we spend some time going over the vocabulary. This was part of the Google Doc um, the other day you were supposed to put this stuff in your notebook. So we spend some time talking about the crest of a wave, the trough of a wave, remember how to pronounce that, trough, and how those are um, when, a, when there's no disturbance, when there's no waves, that's the rest position. And here's the crest and the trough. Then the wavelength is from crest to crest or trough to trough. We use this symbol lambda to mean wavelength. Amplitude is the distance from resting position to the crest or resting position to the trough. I'm going really fast through this. You can pause the video and make sure you have all of this in your notebook. Next we have frequency. Frequency is the number of complete wavelengths that pass a given point in a certain amount of time. So you can see on the GIF here that there's increasing frequency. This um, line here shows one second, all right? And as there's more waves, the frequency, which is right here, measured in this unit called Hertz, HZ, is increasing. It goes from one up to five because there are five waves passing this in one second. All right, close your notebook, do a little quiz, and see if you can answer A, B, C, and D without your notebook. Pause the video. Take the quiz, did you take the quiz? Okay, A is wavelength, B is crest, C is amplitude, D is trough. If you did badly, go back and quiz yourself again. And we're gonna stop there for now.